I've been in construction for so long and I've come to realize that whether you're just starting out or looking to sharpen your skills, these three steps will help you master cost estimation and get accurate results every time. And the step number one is define the scope of work. Every time you are invited to a tender or to a bidding, usually you receive what we call the tender documents. You will receive the BOQ and the drawings and the specifications and conditions of contract, draft agreement and all this stuff. So once you receive these documents, you need to go through these documents to see exactly what are you required to estimate the cost for. What is your scope of work? Are we going to do structure only or skeleton? Are we going to do fit out as well? maybe envelope, maybe MAP or external works. So you need to know what exactly are you estimating the cost for and you need to find these items and list them down in what we call a BOQ. Sometimes the BOQ is given along with the tender documents and some other times the BOQ is not there or not provided. So you will have to do your own BOQ. So it's very important part to define your scope of work, understand exactly what is it you are required to do and have a proper BOQ with all the items that you need along with their unit of measurement. And some examples for defining the scope of work. If you are required to do the structure works, let's say, then maybe you will have pile caps, you will have tie beams, neck columns, ground beams, slab on grade. You might need also columns, beams, slabs, parapets. So you are defining the items that come under the concrete works. If it's a firefighting network, for example, you will need the pipes with the various diameters and everything. You might need the sprinklers, you might need the fire hose cabinets, the extinguishers, the fire pump. So these will be the items that will come in your BOQ and like that you are defining the scope of work. And quickly, if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmed Adel and you are watching Cost Engineering Professional. And here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you want, you can quickly subscribe. And the step number two is quantity takeoff. And at this step, you will have your BOQ with you along with all the items that define your scope along with their units of measurement and you will have to start measuring the quantities for these items from the drawings. And you need also to decide on the tool that you will be using for measuring the quantities. And there are so many tools available for the quantity measurement. So you can simply use AutoCAD or you can use Autodesk Takeoff or you can use Creo Takeoff, Bluebeam Review, Plan Swift. A lot of them are there, but you need to decide on which tool you are going to use in order to produce accurate results. And you should be careful while measuring the quantities because this is a process that requires patience and it requires accuracy in order to produce accurate quantities because remember, quantities will affect the cost of the project so you have to measure them with patience. And I'll leave a link to one of my free courses down in the description showing you how to do the quantity takeoff in details. And the step number three will be the cost estimation and the rate analysis. And the cost estimation is predicting the cost of the materials, plant, manpower, and subcontractors required to execute the work. And basically you will go for each item in your BOQ and you will calculate or estimate the cost of the materials, plant, manpower, and subcontractors required to execute this item. And I have detailed videos that I will leave the links in the descriptions for showing you how to do this process efficiently with the template that you need and everything. I'll leave the link to that template in the description below as well so you can go and download it. And when you are estimating the cost, don't forget the general requirements. And these are general items that will support the execution of your project, like the project supervision and the site office, site fencing, sign board, access roads, water and electricity. So many items like that. These are called general items and you should allow for that in your cost estimate as well. And once you have estimated everything, the scope that you have defined and measured the quantities for, and you have also estimated the cost of the general requirements, now you have the cost of the project. And it is the time to add what we call the margins or the markups. And the common margins are the overhead, risk and the profit. So these three margins will come on top of your cost to make the price for your project. And now I have a question for you. In your opinion, do you think that cost estimation is important only for cost estimators and quantity surveyors, or is it also important for site engineers and construction managers? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want, you can watch this video where I show you how to estimate the cost of an item along with the template that I use for the cost estimation. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.